This is a proof of concept, a prototype done for a real-time uh, solution as a notification system for a bank. Uh, it was done for a hackathon and it's written in Elixir using the Phoenix framework and it works under the Erlang VM. So let's first start the server. It's also available on Heroku and you can try it out there. So the system is started. If we open the browser, open a couple of instances of the, of the web application. So it, it offers, uh, this is the starting point. It has uh, a couple of features. The first one is a real-time dashboard for viewing all the uh, users and their state. The second one is the events moderator. Actually, that is uh, for changing, manipulating the events themselves, which come out uh, in the queue. It's a first come, first served queue, so we can keep the consistency. And uh, it's, it has two type of actors. Uh, two roles. Uh, the first one is uh, a support worker and the second one is an account manager for risk management. So uh, first uh, let's see how you can uh, view the state. Uh, as you can see right now these are all the actors or the all the employees in the system and they're all offline. The first icon indicates uh, that it's a banker and account manager. The second icon indicates that uh, it's a support employee and the gray circle actually indicates that that is uh, uh, that the user is offline uh, and the number actually indicates how many instances does that employee has uh, does that employee open at the very moment which is zero when it's offline of course so and this is for moderating events uh, the events have uh, a type, which is uh, what uh, kind of event happened, like the, uh, the account is almost empty, it's blocked, you have an outflow, you have a bank bankruptcy, you have an almost empty event, uh, etc. And the second one is the type of the product, uh, and it can be like a foreign account, a deposit, a loan, a domestic account, and similar. Uh, next we have the name, the full name of the account holder and the account number itself. We can view more details about it. In the details what is important is that we have uh, a risk management uh, part that is uh, which account manager is actually responsible for this account. So when this event happens it goes in the queue of a certain employee. In this case it is let's say a Sokatano. But uh, when, that, when that employee actually opens the application, let's open it once again. If I log in, I can see that I have this account which was actually first in the line for me to work on. And after I finish it, I can move on to the next one. But in case I actually log in as someone else, let's say if I log in as such entrance. In that case, I will have an another event which is actually only for me in my queue because I am responsible. That is not the case for support. For example, if you open support on a couple of instances and once you log in as Kex and once you log in as uh, Charles Vane, Actually, you can see that it is the same details because this is the same event. Uh, that is because for each account, there is a, a person responsible and for the events which are fired by that account, there is only one person who is responsible for it. And in the case of support, anyone can take the support ticket and answer to it. Uh, here you can see that uh, the employees online which are now and in case, for example, I open a new tab as Kex, 
can also see that the number of instances on Kex is now on two because I have two tabs open. Other than that, in case I take this one, you can see that right now the other one has another case in the queue. It takes the next one because I'm already working on it. And in that case, uh, Charles Wayne will, will be able to take the next one. So it's the first one who takes the ticket, the ticket gets released and uh, the rest of the support see the next ticket in the queue and so on. Uh, right now, because Kex is working on it, if we open a new tab with Kex, let's say, I'm also still working on that account here. So it's synchronized. For example, if I open a third one here, I'm also working on the same account and uh, you can see that I'm busy, it's red and you can view the task itself. So you can open it in a new tab, you can see the details. So in case you're monitoring the event, uh, you can see who's working on which, the people who are actually busy at the moment. 